All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So today is Friday. It means that we are using them uh, Power Rangers, and hopefully everything goes well. Uh, you know, I love to have fun and bust out that Megazord's hand, like, really, like, the strike, the warning, the salt, like, oh my god, like, that's literally all I got. It's just <laughs> the craziness right now. So, you know what, I think I'm going to go ahead and take it the way that I think they should be taken. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do the emergency teleport, get the search, and then go ahead and hop into my Blue, me uh, blue Zord. Uh, so, uh... I'm going to be talking about anti-spell fragrance in this video. It's not good. It, it, I am actually dueling live. Uh, it's not like how it was on Wednesday when it came to uh, DDs and all that. We're not doing that again. Uh, we did it once. We're not going to go ahead and do it again, but yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get red. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my pilot and hop in red. Uh, now what card do I want to pitch? I kind of want all of these. I kind of want all of these. Vanities, the, the, the Solemn Strike, the Solar Charge. I kind of want all of them, so I guess I'll go ahead and just... Uh, pitch red, even though I won't get this graveyard effect, it's better than uh, kind of just sitting here. I, I can't let blue sit there and you know get uh, tore up by uh, emergency teleport, so I had to do that plan. So, yeah, I'm gonna be talking about anti spell hurricanes. Uh, of course, on Wednesday, we talked about uh, Beast, and while I had some good arguments, like Capital G had some good arguments, we went back and forth. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that he actually did the video, I'm actually uh, uh, happy about that because. Uh, if you didn't do the video, then I think I'd be stuck on my ways. But after this video, it's pretty convincing. Pretty good video, yeah. And he makes a good point, you know. If, if, if Beast was just generic, you know, if it was just straight up generic, which it seems like uh, when it comes to addressing things like that, it seems like Konami likes to uh, go ahead and handle situations like that. If it was generic, then, oh yeah, you know, Beast would have been gone a long time ago. But since you have to jump through hoops and not every deck can really do things like that, it's, uh, it's understandable that, uh, that we don't need to go to the extreme of, uh, of uh, banning beast, so that's understandable. Uh, not everybody can play it, like, and, and you really have to jump to hoops. Like we we've seen plenty of times, time and time again, uh, of what just running weird cards like Glow Up Bulb and that X Saber guy just to bust out the beast. So, you know, if you want to go through those lengths and those extremes to go ahead and do that, then hey, more power to you, right? And like usual, we are facing the rank four spamage of. Just Yu-Gi-Oh! Like I said, the rank 4 is just so much in Yu-Gi-Oh! So much! <laughs> like, there, there is no argument in my mind that the rank 4 in this fucking game is just way too fucking much. That's fine. I would like, I would like you to do a little bit more than that. So, don't detach those three, and I'll just hit you with the strike. Like, you're not gonna fucking Nova Infinity me. Like, no thank you. Uh, yeah, you're, I used up a nice chunk of my cards, and then and, and, and of course no, because he didn't use his normal summon. Because Norton is gonna summon you another monster, and that doesn't use your normal summon. <laughs> like, uh, no, like uh, you guys needs to be cleaned the fuck up, because there's just some broken ass shit in this game. Broken ass shit. Like, I, I can't even compare. If I can't bust out my Megazord, then what the fuck am I doing, right? Exactly. Like, mm -mm 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 -mm. Man, I wish I had that vanities right now. <laughs> I wish I had it like the plague. I mean, I could what pop a back row? Like, ooh, like that doesn't do anything. No, <laughs> you've been there because I can soul charge them back. But yeah, <laughs> that was just ugh, ugh. I wish I had more cards in my hand. So yeah, I stopped this play, but it didn't matter because he hadn't used his normal summon. So yay, yay, Lumina. Oh, yep, and then milling with more police and hat and, and damage juggler and all of them good performance things. Oh, yes, yes. That's what we love to fucking see. Alright, so I need to figure out what I want to do right now. I can't bust out my Megazord, but that's not, that's not even possible. A normal summon and then get all their effects. I just don't think I... I, don't, I really don't have the life points to be even doing Soul Charge right now, but let's see. So I would need three cards in my hand to pitch one for each, unless I soul charge back duplicates, in which of course I'm gonna be summoning some. I might be able to do it with with the monsters I'm summoning, but I gotta pay a lot of life points, like a lot. Like I, I just don't. If I had more life points, I think I might have been able to do it because you know I guess I slapped up and clapped up by you know the ooh, summon three fucking monsters and make a patola miles with three materials and didn't use your normal summon since that fucking shit happened. Uh, the struggles are just going to be real, so... Alright, I got green. Alright. Red, when he's sent to the graveyard... I mean, either or, I would I, I would like 
the effect, and then blue, no, I want blue to, no, no effect. So you're gonna go ahead and summon me from the graveyard with your effect negated, that is fine, so go ahead and summon me blue. I said, this is gonna be difficult, this is, this is going to be the difficult, so, uh, I want to go ahead and definitely soul charge back blue and red. And then, and then I think another red, blue, red, and red, so that'd be 3,000 light points. Then I see the blues together, the reds together, and then the green I'll pitch. So, it's a, this is gonna be a lot, so U3. Pretty much all my fucking life points in this fucking play. So, summon you, summon you, summon you. Uh, red, this card's number, this card's number, some target winner, so I'm gonna Actually, that'd be an after second. I'd be very, very appreciable if you go ahead and do that for me. Because then I now have another card to go ahead and pitch, so that's great. And uh, I'll go ahead and grab me a filled spell, just in case my Megazord gets crushed. But uh, yeah, anti-spell fragrance. While Beast, you have to jump through hoops and do all those extremes to go ahead and pull that off. Uh, I mean, there's no argument that literally anybody can go ahead and just toss in some anti-spell fragrances and hit you with that. So uh, one of the arguments for Mega Capital G is Pendulum Bias. Do I have Pendulum Bias? I would say no, but then I would also say yes, you know, when it comes to uh, Pendulum Bias. You know what the sad thing is? Well, actually, you know what I'm about to say. You know what the sad thing is? I, I can get simply wrecked by uh, Utopia the Lightning, but if you come at me with Utopia the Lightning, I can just bounce him, so like, uh, I'm not even worried about that. Like, that's one of the things that the Megazord has uh, over all the other pretty much invincible monsters is that I have a quick play effect to spin you back, so. Now, if he goes Norton and does that shit, and, does, and he has ridiculous swing four plays, all right, Megazord, did it. I did it. I, I, I'm crazy low on life points, but I did it. So how many signatures I have? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. God, I have eight materials. That's that's crazy. That's crazy that I have eight materials. I'm okay right now. I don't really need to do anything. So, thanks to Soul Charge, I busted out the Megazord. Good job. Anybody splashing in most spell fragments? And we've seen it time and time again. The Pendulum by so, Uh you know, is it healthy to allow uh, something like that to occur where you just flip up the anti spell fragments and you can't play, so play your pendulum cells? Uh, no, it's not fair, but is there really anything necessary that, that can be done to fix that? That's the question. I'm thinking about just, you know, letting this guy mill himself out completely. Like, <laughs> like what, what the fuck is he gonna do to my fucking shit? Like, he can't even touch me. Like, thank you for paying a thousand. Now step off. Like, you can't touch my Megazord. None of your shit can touch my Megazord. And now you're just gonna continue to mill it up. Like mill it up, man. Mill it up. He's like, hmm. Okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. You can't do fucking do shit. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and have my uh, Megazord kill your Minerva. You, you can't. I busted out the Megazord. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything that you can do. Alright, I'm just gonna block my attack. Oh, that affects the, the game, not the monster, so that's fine. That's cool. You can have that gun when I'm at it. I said, I'll probably just allow you to just know yourself out. You probably don't have an answer to this Megazord. And if you do somehow bust out an answer, I could just bounce you, so. So, that's that's all fine and dandy. I mean, fuck it. If I'm gonna get fucking Galaxy Cyclones, I might as well bring something back. I don't think there's anything that worth bringing back, but sure, I'll go ahead and chain. <laughs> No, that doesn't work. I'm gonna fuck with that shit. So, uh, next. Oh, call it chain that breakthrough skill. Breakthrough skill. Ah, no. Okay, you're probably gonna mail yourself out. Yeah, yeah. GG, bitch. GG. You thought you had me with that rank 4 spammy Norton bullshit? Nah, I must have that Megazorn. You can suck my dick. <laughs> Continue milling yourself out. <laughs> so, we've seen it time and time again with the anti spell fragrance flipping it up. So. Uh, that's the bait. That's the bait. It's another one of these floodgate cards uh, versus uh, oh more electromagnetic. I thought you could only use the fact once per duel though. Yeah, you can only use electromagnetic tur magnetic turtle once per duel. So what's the point of running multiple electromagnetic turtles? Like, I don't understand. So definitely gonna go ahead and kill that maneuver just to make you mill some more. Hey, go ahead and mill for me, baby. I can have it honest. <laughs> okay. The damage level is fine. I still want to kill you though, and I still want to, I don't, I don't care, I, I don't care you don't take it, I want you to die from milling. 
I want you to mail yourself the fuck out, because there is like literally like nothing you can do to stop me right now. You can even go into Utopia the Lightning, and I still would just bounce him. So, if you continue just being cute, <laughs> I'm not gonna kill your Michael. <laughs> I want you to mess up. I want you to deck out. Uh, so, it's pretty much anti pendulum. You know, I, I, I thought previously that they were going to hit anti spell fragments a long time ago, and we didn't really see any of that. You're just going to straight up exceed those two into two Dagusto and So, you're going to try to take a, and put a couple cards back. You're milling quicker than you're uh, saving, so that's fine, I guess. Okay, so you're going to decast three, put three back. Draw a card. Break the skill doesn't fucking work. Will you stop trying to break the skill? Me? Shit doesn't work. You can't touch this. Okay. Then you're gonna crash your emerald into me without using. So I'm assuming you're quitting at this point. It sure seems like it. It seems like you're just throwing your shit into me and then quitting because you can't get rid of this so good I feel good yep I feel good about this I feel good yeah I brought that back with the soul charge and you just, your jaw just dropped you weren't ready for it ha ah, nigga mm, feels good it feels good uh bear back all right so while Mega Capital G put, uh, brought up a good argument for a uh, beast and you know, all that stuff he, he, his title his video said stuff about him to spell fragrance but you didn't really talk about it you know I don't really talk about it, it's just another one in floodgates. So, while I could see maybe Konami doing something about it because, you know, they're, hey, you know, you know, don't hurt our pendulums, don't do that, no, no, that's bad. Uh, I could easily see them not doing anything just because it seems like if they would have done something, they would have done something in the past. And like I said, um, it seems like when it comes to floodgates, Konami doesn't hit them unless they're absolutely detrimental to almost everybody you know uh i mean look at the look at the five grades that are hit look at them uh you can argue like oh well you know anti spark dragons hurts every pendulum based deck yeah sure but what uh if you're not playing non-pendulum based deck then it's literally just a side against you correct yeah well uh vanities that hurts everybody <laughs> skilden that mostly hurts everybody macro that mostly hurts everybody well i actually summoned the one that i absolutely didn't want to summon <laughs> But that's 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 great. <laughs> the other two? Hell yeah, I wanted those two. These? No, no. <laughs> Especially since I don't got mother well, summon. So this card's gonna summon summon and then I could summon another super quantum, so I guess I could summon I don't know. <laughs> I could summon the other green from my hand, but I think I'll hold on to it. And then red, when it's into your right, summon one from my river with the effect negated, right? So and then blue puts stuff back, so no. And then I can only use your F like you can only use this effect also to allow once return. Once turn you can target one super fights of crime on so on. Each of this card will turn it to also send I don't think that I can use its first effect to target a super quantum monster I control and I want my monster to come in. You can only use this effect alpha once. I don't really don't need you, you would just be a booty. Well I mean I'm assuming you in defense, so Oh, my, my effects are negated, so it would literally be the same thing. I always keep forgetting that. Ah. Like I, said, I, I still need a couple of cards before I'm able to uh, pull off that play. Like, didn't open up fantastically. The green is nice because I can get the red, so I need blue. Like, I pretty much need blue. All right, I was thinking that he's just gonna have that, that was a set MST during the end phase. Like, it's kind of obvious. Like, I need blue. Oh. Sylvans. So when this card flipped up, you can excavate the top five cards of your deck. And then, you know what? I think I'll strike that. I think it's good to strike him because the less excavating he does, the better. Like, you're the one that MST the wrong card. Oh, hello? Death Pro! Death Pro! Ah, oh, fuck you! Fuck you! A little bit off topic, but. Don't you just hate the people on Dev Pro who they go into your room and then they just sit there and don't select the deck? Like, what the, what the fuck with that? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> anyway, uh, like I said, if you think that uh, they would hit... Uh, wow, I wish I was going first. That'd be great. <laughs> Shit. Did you just select two... two uh, okay, well, of course, Wavering Eyes. 
Yeah, Labor Knights needs to get hit. <laughs> Labor Knights needs to go to one. Like, there's there is no argument or dispute when it comes to that. Labor Knights needs to go to one. I wish I would went first. I, I had to fucking sound strike and everything. Now I'm probably just gonna get destroyed because I'm going fucking second. Like, that's literally what Yu-Gi-Oh is starting to turn into at this point. Just fucking fuck, fuck, uh, fuck your strength. It's literally just, you know, go first and then set up an, an unbreakable board by going hella fucking plus. Hella fucking plus, like. I really can't talk shit because I play this deck on freaking daily duels as a tag deck, but god, I'm sick and tired of seeing this fucking deck. Like, I am sick and tired of seeing fucking Pemzo Magicians, and I think they deserve to be hit just as much as fucking Pepe does. Like, don't think that fucking everybody, oh, Pepe, like, yeah, they hit, they deserve a hit too, but this shit deserves a hit just as much, like. That makes me fucking wish that I, I had a better opening. See? Once again. An unbreakable fucking field. So, go ahead and set a the fucking tempest, and then now I gotta deal with fucking tempest. I gotta deal with fucking unicorn. Like, look at that shit. And, like, that's literally what you girls turn into at this point, especially with the pendulum Sun mechanic. You create an unbreakable board with your opening play and go plus like crazy. Like, what a fun fucking duel. Like, I'm gonna just go ahead and scoop it up. I'm gonna just go ahead and, and scoop it up and get a different duel because there's no way I can fucking play around this, around this. And break his pendant skills. Like, there's no way. There's no way. It's a good opening hand, too. It's a good open hand, but... Anyway. Bye -bye. Ugh, swear to God. The pendulum mechanic is just crazy, man. Just crazy. So, oh, got me some max C, so that's nice. So, just try and hit him with the max C and hopefully draw a couple of cards. The more cards I have in my hand for this deck, the better. That's why I'm playing the Reckless Greed and the max C's to make sure that I draw what I want to draw. Nothing good has come from seeing foolish. We're just gonna go ahead and send that damage juggler, and we're just gonna go ahead and get it started. Oh, duties. Interesting. Interesting. So let's see if he plays the deck much better than I am. So far, he's not doing anything that I wouldn't do. I mean, you didn't really have to foolish the slime. You could, you could have just went summon Kepler, and then Kepler would. Uh, you could have searched the slime off of your. Uh, your uh, dark contract. Like I don't understand why you had to foolish the slime so early. Like, that's that's why I'm kind of lost at right now. So because you're gonna you're gonna touch for another slime, right? Like, that's what DDs do. They just go ahead and go that first turn uh, king. Basically. Why not? <laughs> you know, there's no downside to going that first turn king. And then if you kill the king, you kill their oracle king. Uh, they'll just go you know search for. Uh, uh, Ragnarok, and then you can just special summon Ragnarok with the slime you just had used to fuse with that last turn. Turn. Oh, you're gonna get Leonidas. Ooh, okay. Like, are you gonna leave it like that, or are you actually gonna summon your, uh, Oracle? No, you're just gonna leave it like that. That is very surprising. Extremely surprising. I really thought you were gonna go more in. Like, because you didn't go more in, I don't know what to fucking do. I don't have any super quantum cards in my graveyard, so I mean, really, what's the point of special summoning this? That is, that's a good question. That is a good question. So I can go ahead and special summon this, play my filled spell. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do that, because there's really nothing else I can really pull off right now. So, I'll go ahead and just summon my red pilot, and then uh, activate my filled spell, pitch the volcanic shell, put in my Zord, and then run you over, and then I'll have the Xenia Terra to pop a monster next turn. Uh, I'm assuming that you're going to go ahead and overextend, go super chocolatey ham next turn, so maybe I'll get more out of the max C. Oh, so he's going to max C me. Well, if you're going to max C me, I mean, I, I mean, I really don't have to overextend this turn. I don't. So, uh, I'll max C you. Seems like you want to overextend more than I do. So I'll just attack your Kepler for 2,000. I'll then allow you to go neg with max C. You think that I'm hopping the Megazord, but I'm not. So, kind of messed up, because... That inherent summon got you. Got him. So, I was talking about anti spell for Uh Not taking Pendulum Bias into consideration, uh, if there was a particular side card that, unless Konami is like, absolutely like, no, we want it gone because it hurts the whole Pendulum mechanic in general. Uh, it seems. Oh, I want. Ugh, fucking. I have to say, I should chain uh, Maxi. Because I know he's going to go ahead and go chain uh, Leonidas. Alright, I can chain like that. So I'm going to go ahead and Maxi you. How do you like it, bitch? So. I said, even even evening out is fine with me when it comes to uh, this deck, and now I draw more volcanic shells. Great. I said, you just gonna take it slow because you have the stronger monster. 
He said, uh, just make sure you get your search out of the new gate. Like, you've already paid the a lot, well, gained the life points. So you might as well go ahead and get your search on. And he said, and lastly, absolutely, like, no, no, the search is the hand mechanic as a whole. Um, I guess the same argument could be said for other cash cow sudden cards, you know, when they're promoting, you know, Cosmos and Infernalites and that was, like, sort of the thing, they never hit um, and put on walls, and that kind of locked them down, absolutely. So, you know, who's to say that, uh, the same thing can't be said for anything else? Are you actually gonna do that play? I mean, you really don't have anything you're grave to summon, or are you gonna take it slow? I can't tell, I can't tell. Alright, you're actually gonna do the slime and do all that in place, like, okay. Like, I, I don't understand why you're gonna go ahead and summon Ragnarok. Ragnarok is not gonna summon you anything back from the graveyard. Like, that's one of the best things about Ragnarok. Now, if you fuse, like, if you actually did the place properly, like, I think we might actually find a DD player that's worse than me. Because <laughs> even when I'm calling you out in your play, that's, you know, that you're not doing so high. And I just keep on drawing the same fucking shit. Same fucking shit. Oh. Oh, you're doing your tribute thing. Why? Okay. Like, I don't understand why you, why you, you want to do that. I guess to just to banish me? Like, I don't understand why you would want to do that. I'm kind of lost, to tell you the truth. Like, alright. That's fine. Yeah, you, you didn't really have to do that. You have to choose your monster, you could have just tapped over me. I don't understand the point of summoning Ragnarok either. Ugh, I'm not getting shit. Like, damn, I'm just drawing to say all the same cards. Like, where's my green? Where's my blue? Like, I'm not getting any of the freaking shit I need. There's really no point. I'm trying to think if there's any of... of I guess the best thing to do would just be summon fucking Pilate and hop into my Megazord, but then I'm not sure if he would have uh, his trap card. Like, that's what I'm worried about, because, of course, you know, I can just go ahead and flip it up and gain that thousand attack, and I'll just run right into it and die, so... That's definitely a problem that I do not want to uh, foresee. Well, I think I'll just go ahead and special summon my red. So you're gonna drop another maxi on me, or are you just gonna flip up your trap now? You're a witch and then pitch. Yeah, see, I thought you were just gonna go ahead and activate witch. So you became a 32 beater, which of course I could I cannot handle, which is great in DDDs. That's a, that's a good card. That is a good card. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hop into my lion. This of course can uh, fuck you up, so I think I'll leave it like that. I mean there's really no you're not really a threat to me right now. There's really no reason to pop you, no reason to, to do it. And I'll just allow you to uh, kinda overextend and then if you try to get rid of me I'll just chain and pop you, so I said, uh, there's really no threat on my end right now. Yep, that's fine. So, I said, if they didn't hit it, like, Imperial Iron Wall and shit like that, then why would they go to the extremes of hitting, you know, anti-spell fragrance? But if they are, then, of course, they'd be limited down to one with all the other Floodgate-esque trap cards. Or you could just go ahead and fucking taunt deck that, because fuck me. Alright. Well, if I'm gonna get Regeki, I might as well go ahead and take you out with me, right? And red pilot. And you like summon one back from the graveyard, so just summon my freaking lion back. Solemn warning, sure. You got like points out the ass, like you just paying. Yeah, you just paying. So you keep paying, sir. You keep paying. So literally, you have to either get another freaking. Uh, Leonidas, or pull off a play right now. Cause if you don't pull off the play right now, you're gonna lose because these two are gonna burn you to death. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and get Kepler. And Kepler's gonna search you for... I guess... Swamp? Like, I don't, I don't understand. You already got your uh, Dark Contract Gate, and you already got your Witch, so what the hell are you gonna search for with Kepler? I'm kinda lost. I said, I think you might have found a DD player worse than me. And that's saying something. <laughs> And then he quits, because he's going to burn himself out. Like, mm. yeah. DD is a very skilled deck. Now, I'm not saying I'm the best DD player, but it takes a lot of skill, and it just didn't seem like you had it. All right, we're going to get one more duel in this video. Bear right back. All right, this should be the last duel. Hopefully, it's an entertaining one. And then uh, you go to the polls and go ahead and vote. Polls are up, yeah, so this might actually be the last time we're dueling with this uh, deck. 
Uh, we might actually come back and see that this deck's not even here on Daily Duels anymore. And next week, we might just be getting the deck profile. So, guess we'll have to start. go ahead and find out. Sounds meh. Again. The combination of the back row compared to the to the monsters that you open sometimes actually hurt the the plays in the deck. Same thing with these, these where you really want to go in with your plays that you just open up with the hate. Or the hate seems like it could stall you often. Alright, so Yeah. Just just fuck me, just turn one, just fuck me, turn one. <laughs> like, alright. It goes all my shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, that, that sucks. I was thinking it was probably gonna be Twin Twister, but this literally, that was literally like the same exact thing. Like just me getting absolutely fucking destroyed by all my shit going to to fucking shit. I might as well go ahead and play that Max C because obviously he's gonna go ahead and summon that uh, Norden, and then Norden's gonna go ahead and summon back his monster, so yeah, I can draw a couple of cards. And a couple of cards is never terrible. Sand's not bad. Sand's actually pretty good, actually. If I can get red, like if I can straight out and get red, then I would just be fantastic right now. Actually, you know what? I think I have my Megazord, because I can just emergency teleport, summon blue, then blue will search me red. Green, red. Yeah, so I think I might have my freaking Megazord. You may play this turn if a monster with higher attack than the Secret Summon Monster on the field, you can destroy one face of monster on the field. That's the highest attack of your choice. This track can only be used once while this card is on the field. Okay. Oh, that would suck if he goes ahead and pulls it off. I mean, he probably will go ahead and interrupt me in that way, so. Uh. Because I will be summoning a monster higher attack than him. I think the highest. I think my red. My lion. So. We'll be filling the snuggles for real. So. We'll find out. So I would love to go ahead and kill this guy without having to do that. Oh, I can just go. I can just summon my uh, Book of Moon guy first. Yeah, then my Book of Moon guy. You sit down, and then do my play. So yeah, that works. That works. That works. That works. So I'll go ahead and summon Green. So let's go ahead and wrap this deck up by busting out the Megazord for the last time, possibly. Yep. And Power Rangers though. So I'll go ahead and activate that. I'll go ahead and activate you. Pitch that volcanic shell. I'll go ahead and turn you into you. I will actually use my effect. Detach. Set you down. That's exactly what I want. So what I can discard a card, draw a card. That's what it does in the graveyard. Like no, I don't want that. Alright. Let's well, can't shell it up and drop that Megazord. But that was smart. That was smart to go ahead and set him down before I went into uh, into red, because he would he would have been able to pop red. I would have been able to chain and of course pop him, but him popping red would have been not what I wanted. <laughs> not what I wanted at all. And then uh, we'll go ahead and do volcanic shell once again. We're paying tons of life points, but it's all good because pretty much once we get that Megazord out, this pretty much game, and that's what I love about this fucking deck, just busting out that Megazord, like, yes! We got one, two, three, four, five, so I think I might use your effect and equip and see material to you, with this blue in my hand. Just in case, I don't think that they really add cards from the deck to hand, I think that maybe the filled spells the searcher, Shira Nui? I don't know Shira Nui that well, you know. It hasn't even been put on the form, that's actually, on the, on the polls, that's actually uh, pretty surprising. That uh, no one has suggested uh, Shiranui's. You're not really a threat anymore, but I also don't want to kill you and put you in the graveyard from Mizuki. But I guess he could just do that himself, right? Ah, it feels so good to be able to just bust this guy out. Just play the music. So, in conclusion, my entire spell hurricanes. Uh, I don't think they're going to hit it, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do. Will I be predict predicting it getting hit along with me on my balance direction? No. So, simple as that. I would rather keep it a surprise. You know, there's often times when I do my balance predictions that I would rather predict, uh, not predict at all, than try to predict. You know, it's like it's like, it's like like the opposite with Stratos. Could Stratos come off ban? Yeah, I guess. But is there point, any point in really predicting him? Like, no, because I'd rather not get it wrong on my prediction. I'd try to, you know, there's just no reason or norm for Konami to unban uh, Stratos, so. 
So you're gonna play that zombie world so you can go ahead and summon back that Norton. Wow, alright. No, you synchro summoning with the Norton and stuff like that. Like, okay. He's gonna try. He's definitely gonna go ahead and try to deal with my Megazord, even though I really don't think there's any way that he can deal with it. Yeah, he's just gonna go ahead and scoop it up. But, like, there's no way. Like, like, was it? As far as special summon, you can bench ones on the monster and get attack. So you could have got stronger than me, but then, you know, my quick play effect that could just bounce you, and I do have the solemn uh, notice down strike. So, yep. So there we go. So tell me what you guys think about anti spell fragrance in the com in the comment section below. I want to know your opinion. So. Yeah, because like I said, Mega Capital Duke talks about in the map beast and I'm in agreement, that's fine, but you really talk about anti spell fragments, and while it seems like everybody in the motor can just go ahead and main deck or side deck three anti spell grants and fuck with you, uh, like I said, it's just one specific thing, because like I said, I guess the same argument can be said with Imperial Iron Ball as well, so I said, unless it's a floodgate that absolutely affects everyone, like, alright, well, you know, like 90% of the decks in Yu Gi Oh! Uh, are affected by vanity, skill drain, and macro, then we're gonna go ahead and hit those, but. You know, there's only a handful of decks that are affected by Imperial Armor, only a hand decks that are affected by Anti-Spell Hurricane, so maybe they'll just go ahead and leave you alone. Or maybe they'll just go ahead and actually hit those cards and just be like, no, none of the fucking answers, play the fucking Pendulum. So, I don't know, we'll find out. But, uh, yeah, my balance prediction will be soon. I'll be doing a final balance top one of these in the coming weeks before February, and I'll have my balance prediction up on February 1st. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that, but right now I'm not going to predict that uh, Anti-Spell Hurricane or Beast is going to get hit, and we'll just find out if they do. Because I think, I think my chances of them not getting hit are higher and getting that production correct than, you know, predicting it and getting it absolutely wrong, so. Well, I don't have Pendulum Bias personally as a Pendulum pay player, because I, I would love for, you know, for Pendulum to get fucking wrecked. I'm already sick and tired of the mechanics. It's ridiculous. <coughs> I have Pendulum Bias in the sense of Konami's, you know, getting Konami's head and trying to think, you know, they, it would be smart, a business-wise, it would be smart to go ahead and hit these cards just to sell more Pendulum-based stuff. Alright people, so yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Thanks for watching.